The mother of Alexei Navalny says she has seen her son's body. Lyudmila, Lyudmila Navalny says the Russian government wants her to bury her son in secret and has set conditions around where, when and how the opposition leader is buried. They want it done without saying goodbye. They want to take me to the outskirts of the cemetery, to a fresh grave, and say, here lies your son. I don't agree to this. I want you, to whom Alexei is dear, and for whom his death was a personal tragedy, to have the opportunity to say goodbye to him. I'm recording this because they started threatening me. Looking into my eyes, they say if I do not agree to a secret funeral, they will do something with my son's body. His wife, Yulia, and daughter, Dasha, have met with Joe Biden in San Francisco. After meeting the US president, uh, this was after he announced major new sanctions against Russia in response to Alexei Navalny's death. We also spoke to Bill Browder on this program just a couple of days ago. He is a prominent and very well-respected uh, political activist. He was also uh, been targeted by the Kremlin for the last 20 years. He's called on the world, the Western world, to get behind a Navalny Act, he explains here. Since then, Russia has done about a trillion dollars of damage to Ukraine. And so the idea that I have, and I think uh, we need to come up with something that would really hit Putin hard for this assassination, is not just to freeze that money, but to confiscate that money, to give that money to Ukraine for their defense and reconstruction, and to call it the Navalny Act, so Putin understands that his murder of Alexei Navalny cost him $300 billion.